What up, guys? This is Casey Strong, and, and I want to talk about the John Gruden situation and why I think about it. Well, more stuff has came to light than just him saying some player had big lip. Well, I read, I guess he said someone has bigger lips than the Michelin tires. Like, yeah, that could be meaning uh, a black player, yes. But, uh, I do see why people are like, uh, he didn't exactly say a black player. Well, he didn't say, uh, like the N word or anything. But, uh, I could let that go because, I mean, but that's still kind of like you're picking on someone's. Uh, facial features. I mean, like, I have a speech impediment, and a lot of times people would like to pick on me with that. You know, I'm part of the community. It usually doesn't bother me when I get this community I'm part of. But, like, when someone's screwed with me or being extremely malicious against me because I, I have, I, apparently I stutter. I don't think I stutter, but I uh, have a speech impediment. But let's, so it's kind of screwed up. So... That's how I feel about the big lip thing, but the thing he, John Gruden said about Roger Goodell, you know, all the homophobic slangs, I mean, in workplace, you shouldn't say that stuff, definitely not, I mean, you, especially, it's just a bad thing. I can see why Raiders probably pushed him out of the job. I guarantee you, he's like, I don't want to, uh, I want to leave the, I want to resign so you guys don't feel the burden of me. I guarantee you, it wasn't the big lip part where he could have been like heavily fined just with that. But the homophobic con comments, I can see why they pushed him out. And I know some people are like, well, he's getting canceled for using these uh, homophobic slurs er, uh, like years and years. Well, now the stuff is, there's certain things. It's like when stuff gets leaked out, it definitely makes you not look good, and the employer who hires you, it does not make them look good. I can understand both sides, like, I don't like can cancel culture, but if someone wants to go and apologize, say, hey, that's not who I am today, I apologize for my language. And I'm like, okay, let's just move on. Let's not blackball them from their from their field. Because you know what's going to happen now. Just because of that, John Gruden's going to be blackballed from the whole... Not just from head coach. Remember when he was like a commentator? What, right after he won... Super Bowl with the Bucks and oh, I, he was with the Bucks a little longer than that, but after he left the Bucks, he was a commentator, and there was always rumors about him going back 
to coach it. And the Raiders finally pull him back, I guess, in 2018. So, when you offer him $100 million for 10 years, so I would do the same thing. But, um, gosh, what is that? Ten million dollars a year? So. But, uh, yeah, I feel, I can see why the Raiders pushed him out. If it was just that stupid uh, comment saying about the big lip comment... Like I said, I wouldn't, I wouldn't fired him. I'd heavily fired him. Have him push him to apologize. And let's just move on, you know? But when you get something leaked out that bad, uh, let's be frank. You know, I said some stupid shit in my life. And God forbid that comes back. And haunt me. I mean, there's some stuff like I'm not gonna go run and say this guy said some bad stuff to me because that's just messed up, and then no one's gonna trust you with anything. They'll they'll keep their distance away from you because you're you're now a rat. So, I think the Raiders had no choice. I mean, most of the times I'm on the side where, like, well, let's just give the person a chance after, uh, especially if something years and years and years ago. But when you are, like, if you, like, someone says some stupid when they're like teenager or in their early 20s and now let's say they're in their 40s and now you want to punish them for that like that's just if you ask me that's just stupid right there but if John Gruden was Wells as being the coach head coach at that time when he was saying that stuff. So, I really don't think this is, you know, part of, you know, the cancel culture, actually. I think he had this coming. I mean, I like John Gordon, but, I mean, I'm hopefully that you know, maybe he'll make apology and, uh, maybe the NFL can work around it, but let's, like I said, let's be frank, you know, I mean, once you're, like, been canceled, you're pretty much blackballed. And it's gonna be extremely hard to take that blackball mark off you. So... That's pretty much all I got. So, I'll talk to you guys later, and thanks for watching.